back to Two Exiles, One Portal. I am once again joined by Caspar. 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 Caspario. Casper Key. No, okay. It's not a lot of variations of that. It's like a lot of my characters get named. Like a lot of those variations. Uh, or your at least your 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 like display names. Yep. Yep. And when in doubt, if all of those are taken, I use my my I use a uh, my wife's name. A variation really? of it. I'm like, yeah. I just use it at the bottom of the list. I'm like. All right, this is taken, this is taken, this is taken, this is taken. I'm like, hmm. All right, well, good old reliable. That was never taken. <laughs> I hate having, like, like I've never been one to have names with, like, XX or uh, a number. Right, right. I've never been you. the one. Never been the one to do that. I've done it when it comes to something I want a number in. Like boob. Like, no, uh, well, <laughs> I suppose, but my display name is SCP fourteen forty. You know, it, it's a very specific. You just gave out your reason. account name. You could get hacked, man. Oh, I'm gonna get hacked. Please don't hack me. I I love you too. If you're listening to this and you're in a position to hack me, I love you too much for you to do that to me. Like, come on. Like, please. I thought we were friends. You might have hit a button. <laughs> and if you haven't please do so this is please do we're gonna try to do this now more often we're gonna try to do the buttons reminder at the beginning because we usually wait till the ending and we realize hmm what if someone doesn't watch the entire hour of us talking shit well i just usually don't like asking for buttons. like okay so so this is how i think about it right if you don't make it past like the first half of the video maybe you don't want a button <laughs> you don't deserve a button <laughs> not, no 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 go Wait, home with it it's not, it's not like that like maybe you just you, you were not that interesting to you therefore i'm not gonna make i'm not trying to like force a button you know, i don't know what i want it kind of hurts my feelings to, i don't want people to be like oh my god dude these guys put a you don't want a, a, pity, a pity button <laughs> a pity button right i don't want a fucking pity button get the hell out of here I want I want to earn your button. I want you to be like this this douchebag that gets high all the time. It's fucking funny sometimes. That's all I want. I think that's the only reason. Have... That's I think that's a true reason why you should hit a button. Oh my god, you changed the hideout again. I do. You, can you not hate me? <laughs> I gotta show this to everyone. I can't keep up, man. I just downloaded it. I downloaded it. I didn't fucking make it. This is from Hideout Showcase, and I thought it looked nice. No, it does look nice, but it's just... It looks really nice. Once I get accustomed to one, and I'm a creature of habit, like, I want my sandwiches the same way. Right, but be honest, this looks better. <laughs> and everything is in a lot more, like... Centralized place, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, this, I have this, seen this one before. I have as well. Like, but, and the thing is, is the last one, the last version of this had like the round thing in the middle, like the walls. Mm -hmm. And that just made life really f like weird. Oops. Yeah. That just made life like really weird. Um, so I owe you and Alex and I am you an explanation, but you was never on there. So I, I'm going to do it for the, um, for the ethos. Um, and then, the big, uh, then, then after I do this apology, we'll go into what we want to talk today about. So this is kind of serve as a public service announcement. Um, I promised the coffee that once weed became legal in New York, I would, you know, go get some legal shit and then come home and have some fun and then play path with you guys. So I did do that. I did just that. And I told you ahead of time I was going to do that. Yep. And so this is what happened. I've, for the last five years or so, I've been eat, eating edibles on and off. That's one of my main ways of consuming weed. I don't really smoke it because I hate the, I hate the smoke. I just don't like the smoke. And then my wife hates the smoke too. So it's like, it's just a, it's a no brainer. 
But eating it is very easy. Just pop one in. Dude, that's it. Right? It's fucking very low, low maintenance. Yes. Um, the person who used to give me edibles before, and I used to get them from, used to claim X amount of milligrams and all this jazz, right? Mm-hmm. Never used to hit. Never used to hit. I used to have to take maybe three, four. For me to feel something. Right. Because, so, you know, back before regulation and people were getting really touchy about that kind of shit. Yeah. So I went this time into the legal dispensary with my shitty knowledge of me just trying it haphazardly. And I said to the guy, oh, let me get this edible, let me get that edible, let me get this edible. Right? Mm-hmm. Boom, took them home. Different, right? Different flavors, different. I got one that's chocolate, one that's um, gummies, and the other some other bullshit. Came home, boom, sat down. I'm sitting t- I was sitting here, I was getting ready to um, run groups with you guys. I was like, all right. I took one. I was like, oh, I could barely taste the wheat on this. There's nothing here. All right. <laughs> Mind you, the the last ones, I, I used to, like, it was strong taste. All right. So I'm like, all right, let me take two more. This, this bitch is not going to do nothing. Mind oh, you, these are 10 milligrams each, THC. Okay. So, okay. That's not bad. Not bad. That's, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you. I ha- I give my, uh, my grandmother. Dog? Oh, I was just going to say. <laughs> I give my grandmother 10 milligrams to help her sleep. When, one? Uh, when yeah, she, one yeah. will fucking put you out like a baby. One yeah. will will mellow you the fuck out. I took three. I took three. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you you were you were you were having having a good time. I was having a I I I had a panic attack. Oh, I always hate to hear that, dude. That makes yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, It wasn't bad. Dude, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, I remember That's hearing your voice. Hard. I remember hearing your voice. I'm like, okay, okay, just, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Did I start freaking out a little bit? I'm like, all right, yeah. no, I'm good. We just went in path. Oh no, we're fine. I try to distract myself, right? But it got worse and worse and worse, mm-hmm. and to the point where every sense was hyper so if i moved the, like my pinky it would feel like i'm throwing my pinky two miles <laughs> so i'm sitting here with my controller running maps i'm hearing you guys talk but i can't respond fast enough <laughs> and and i'm going through the motion i'm clicking on everything i'm trying to stay perfectly still like a goddamn statue <laughs> because every movement I'm making is like it's getting more and more amped up. Right? So it got to a point where it started hitting and I'm like, oh, it's hitting. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, I'll get comfortable. And I didn't move for like maybe 45 minutes. Had to be 45 minutes. Right? I was sitting here not moving. And I tried to get up and it felt like I did three back front flips. I was like, <laughs> What the fuck? And at that point, I started freaking out. That's when the panic started setting in. I'm like, did I take too much? Oh my God, I think I took too much. And my wife hates it when I get like this. She fucking hates it because she's like, oh my God, you're so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know how to turn off the game. I got to a certain <laughs> point where it's like, I couldn't, like, I had to close my eyes because even watching the game when everything was happening and remember public service announcement if you're going to get high for the first time do not play path i just get experience with getting high first and play path because the shit you'll see it's not it's like the opposite of catching a seizure it's like you you're just like it, it's so much and especially we don't we was doing party play so it was like fucking like amped up like it was just so much shit on the screen i'm sitting there just staring i'm not blinking i haven't blinked in 45 minutes i'm sitting there like i must i have no saliva in my mouth (laughs) so i'm sitting there like bro i need some water like i can't get up though because i can't walk and i'm sitting there like how am i supposed to tell my wife this like 
so it's, I start freaking out. I start freaking out more and more and more and more and more and more. I'm sitting to myself like, no, I gotta calm down, calm down. I did one that last mat that we did, and I had to stop halfway. I'm not can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. And I turned it off. I just, I just, um, power, power down. I powered on my own time PC. I didn't even leave the game. I just powered on a PC. And I guess whatever happened, happened. And this is where it got dumb. I texted Alex. I was like, my power, my power ran out. <laughs> I remember reading the text like a day and a half. Because this lasted, by the way. This lasted until midday the next day. <laughs> I went to sleep, woke up high. I'm saying this to myself, I woke up, I'm like, at the room still felt a little woozy. I'm like, oh, I'm so high. But I was able to at least, like, oh, okay, I, you know, I can, I'm comfortable with this level of high. I'm good with this. But every now and then, like, I would start laughing out of nowhere. Rosie was like, are you still high? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm still high. She's like, what the what fuck? Did, what did you eat? Don't eat that shit no more. I'm like, nah, I gotta have some more. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta, I gotta, uh, <laughs> I gotta like be careful how I do it. Like I gotta take it easy a little bit. I went a little too deep in. I went to the deep end real quick. I wasn't you ready did. for that one. You took thirty milligrams. That's, that's yeah. Like I said, that's and I haven't stuff. done. I haven't done edibles or anything like more than a year ago. So I have zero. You see, but I will say though, there's there's two ways that this could have gone down in that particular fashion, right? Of taking too much edibles and this one i think is better than the alternative i've seen people take edibles mm -hmm. wait like 10 minutes and be like oh i don't feel anything and take more yeah no no so no. that so no. that ramping process that you were going through mm -hmm. instead of it being like okay i'm going past comfortable and now it's continuing it just i'm so glad i didn't take a fourth bro yeah i would have oh, to be God. in an er yeah, yeah. They would have yeah, to they, like inject me with some like um what was that 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 calm you down? So, side note, if you do ever get to that point, I'm going to be really honest with you, it's going to sound really stupid. Eat something really greasy with a lot mm. of carbs. So, mm. your stomach like, like, "Ooh, what's this over here?" <laughs> yeah, no, really. Like what it does is it'll just like it'll help. It'll help. I don't know how it helps, but it it'll help. I don't know the science behind it. All right. But just eating a big meal and just I went like I went to my safety person. I literally I mustered every courage I had, every inch of my eye to hand to leg coordination, and I stumbled out of the room maybe maybe six meters at most. And I curled up next to Rosie, who was watching TV outside in the room. And she said, Are you alright? She's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just my eyes, uh, my eyes are a little, um, they burn. Right? That's what I said. Mm -hmm. And she was like, mm hmm. Okay. Are you going to sleep now? I'm like, no, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going to sleep. Just need to close my eyes for a little bit. Bro. If it wasn't me laying on her, I would, I would have fucking lost it. Because everything was so high. Even laying down, my eyes closed. Every time I would shift my body weight, it felt like I was doing the goddamn alligator roll. And I was just like, oh, okay, let's keep going. And finally, I fell asleep for a little bit, woke up, still was feeling crazy, went into bed. But yeah, so I fucking ruined that. And we was getting so much cash. I was yeah. sitting there watching it. I was seeing it happen like it was like I was out of, having an out of body experience. And I was just like, oh. More money. Oh, more money. Oh, what's that? More money. Huh? What's going on? Keep kidding. All right. We're going to keep going. And it's just the point where it was like I was, my brain was melting because I was doing it. <coughs> Hello. Okay. We doing it? Right. Okay. What's, what's that? I honestly don't know how I maintained. And I think at one point I stopped giving a fuck where you guys were going. I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm going this way because my brain, that's what my brain can keep up what I'm doing. <laughs> Not what you guys are going up and down, left, right. I'm like, no, I'm going this way. Follow me or I'll die. I'm okay with either one. Um, but yeah, that's a public service announcement. Um, don't get Blitzkrieg high when you're about to do party play. It just ruins it for you. Or everyone. do. 
No, or do. You know, it, it was. I, should, I was gonna say smoke or eat responsibly. Like it was. First of all, obviously, it was an adventure. Second, obviously, like you know, I, I'm not gonna try to like be super mushy about it, but that tells me like, hey, bro, you enjoyed your significant other and the time that you had with her, and it was really special. So that's awesome. Like. We'd always bring good she did, bro. She did feel left out, though. She was like, you know, I can't eat this shit. I'm breastfeeding. I'm like, uh, I mean, so Yo, you can't man. eat it now, but I got you. Trust me, I got you. She's like, where you bought this from? She went on a little location and everything. Now, mind you, it's legal in New York, so, like, in the next couple of months, especially during the summer, they're going to increase, like, the amount of availability. But I found one really close to my house. Um, I was like, oh, that's right there, bro. I'm in there. Um, so not gonna lie, uh, I think people who are we connoisseurs, you guys need to calm down a little bit though. Like, well, the thing ask is, if the person is new first. No, first of all, you cannot say shit. You tripled your dose. No, 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 no. I, I meant I meant the customer service in that place. Oh, like he just started throwing all kinds of terms, like. You know what I mean, like he didn't ask, like, "Hey, is this your first time? Is this new?" Like, you know, he was just like, "Well, try this." The TV, and then it was just like, "Bro, what? What are you talking?" You about? gotta, you gotta remember that has probably been pent up inside that man for he was. years. Now nah, he was, you yeah. know what I mean? He was excited. Like, He's excited to be able to like say all this shit out loud. <laughs> that's true. He, I could tell there was a level of excitement and. Like, like he'll, he he'll was calm high down. too. He was high. He yeah, was high of as balls. Course. Like, of course. I'm like, this is the only At business that, point, that you are allowed to be this high and still sell me shit. It's almost like a requirement. Like, if you're a tattoo person, you you gotta have tattoos. You gotta have something well, pierced. Oh no, I don't know. I've I've known some people that have done it that aren't stoners, and they're actually like some of the better bud tenders that I've known. And then because like they're just there to help people find what the fuck they're looking for. Like I do again, think you need you know, a sober mind in order to like calmly ease a person into it. Yeah. I think that that over enthusiastic like, can scare a person off, like mm, okay, this is way too much for me. Like, because again, you know, for for people who are connoisseurs and smoke all the time, I've worked in the industry, so I know what these metrics are. Uh, like, I really like it when they give me all the information. <laughs> no, I think that like there's another cat that was right behind me, right? Um, there's only two of us in there because they do they only deal with one or two customers at a time. Um, yeah, that's the usually market. how it starts. So, as he, I'm waiting for my order to come in, um, he's talking to him, and all of a sudden they start getting into a conversation about the grower and who the grow is, and da, 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 da. I'm sitting there just listening to this conversation. I'm saying to myself, like, I don't, I don't, why did he have asked me that? But it was the fact that the guy who, who was, um, he he wanted to know this information. Because that kind of what you said about like, oh, I'm give you this information because I know you want it. Um, he was very enthusiastic with it. Yeah, you know, because, you know, there is a subset of people who who have really wanted to look through this. And you got to remember, you know, when it is possible for your gov for your government to have dick pics of you, like, <laughs> you no, know, like, you know what I mean? Like, That's an interesting have, choice, though. No, because it's, you know, you think about it, most people have sent a dick pic or two. And that's something that is on the level that's not like so nebulous of they can steal your information. Like if you've ever sent a dick pic to somebody, the government has access to that fucking information. They may or may not look at it. You know, that's the difference. Like, my but heart. that my FBI <laughs> agent is uh, looking at my dick pics. Checking out your dick pics. Like, he, yeah, got some, he got some good got some good uh hangage there, buddy. Just be like, Oh man, I thought this dude was a spy, but he's too hung. <laughs> hey man, double oh, double oh seven comes by a pussy. He must have been somewhat hung. Um, who knows? British you know, people, a... the British people were low low key packing, bro. I have no idea. I, I, to be completely honest, I find it funny of just like why there's such a weird fascination with other male junks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, cause you think uh, you hear about like the oh oh fuck I died, dude. Uh, Mew, alright, Mew got him up. Uh, I was really hoping not to die. Well, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's uh, <sighs> that was my adventures. Um, and I felt like I felt that I felt that it was okay for me to leave on because we made so much. I know we could have probably made probably twice that much if I was stuck around and not being so goddamn big screen. Oh, uh, I feel like yeah, we could have done pretty good there. Yeah, but I couldn't. I couldn't keep going. I, I there was no. I had like I was drunk driving, and it wasn't even fun. It was just like scary. It was getting scary for me. I get you. Um, so yeah, so that's a public service announcement. Um, but I, the reason why I wanted to record and, um, the reason and discuss this is that, um, talk a little bit more about, to talk a little bit more about the, um, party play mechanism. And I have my own personal theories, but I want to kind of break down with you about what are some of the things that we've learned this league that would help someone starting out or getting, like, they're clearing red maps they're probably ready to venture into party play or maybe they haven't done red maps and they're kind of thinking about oh well i have my partner here i got my friend here how do we do party play uh so essentially there's two major things right so one decide if you guys are just going to do party play because remember just playing as a party gives you a new post or if you're going to try to do something like magic fight then you have to identify, or not identify, but you have to remember that there are two things necessary for doing maps. Being able to live through the map and being able to kill shit in the map. And there's a couple ways of going about, you know, making those things possible or making those things faster. But you need the first two, guaranteed. You need to be able to survive the map, and you need to be able to kill shit in the map. So that's the first place of like, you know, if me and you were a duo, one of us has to be in an Orbot, and the other person has to be just like a damage carry. Now and to then, your earlier point, you don't have to go this route, but it, it, I think it solves one of those issues that you have of like surviving. If you have an Orbot, chances are you are going to survive shit. Yeah, you're going to survive infinitely more than you would. Like, without one, that's just... <laughs> Horobots are kind of necessary for high for high level play, unless you're. That's another interesting point know. about party play. Doesn't that mean that you're running top tier six? Shit. Yeah, or yeah, you're just you're adding a little bit of of juice. You're you're with the friend, but you guys need to survive. So either you need to get tanky enough for yourselves to do the the. I don't know if like what kind of juice you would want to run right you guys have to find that particular uh what that's on what your you preference yeah that's do. based on your preference yeah. and it's you know other than that it's just like have fun with it try to choose things that benefit each other's builds or that at least don't step on each other's builds yes uh, try to survive as much as you can as i you know died a few minutes ago but um... you know it's fun I, I remember when I when I came up with this when I thought about this topic and I proposed it to you. I'm honestly thinking it from a much more basic level of like, you need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, Find a buddy. For the longest time, I used to play this game by myself. Like I used to never have someone to like play with. Like you know, I don't know that and that's sad, but but that's why I kept trying to get you and Ethan to come back and play. And I would try to entice you with like, dude, look at I'm solo playing, bro, and I made this kind of money, or you know, I did this kind of thing, and it's just like, you're like, oh, that's awesome. You look at you excelling. And I'm like, no, but you could be here too. Like, <laughs> so you could be richer than I've ever been. Like, this is fucking awesome, dude. This game is so fucking fun to play with other people. And then, you know, because the thing is, is now, unfortunately, uh, with the time restrictions, I'm going to need to fund my own character with, like, the increasing time restrictions of people, you know, going off of holiday and things of that nature. Oh, wow, this is scary. I can't. There's a wall here. Yeah, I can't, I can't get in there. 
Alright, yeah, right that's a good spot. Okay. But with those types of time restrictions, I'm like, nah, it's time to, you know, be able to either transfer this into solo magic fine so I can keep going, so I can make the build I need because I don't have enough money to do it. Or because again, if like if Alex was able to still play uh relatively regularly, I wouldn't mind waiting to make my next character until like another two or three weeks. Like <laughs> Yeah. I know we would I know we would end up making like a grip of money. And even with the three of us, like me, you and me, like we could do pretty well, but I also don't know how much time. Yeah, it's like right now I'll stay up maybe to um it's 1 30 a.m we started at 1 a.m but it typically takes a little bit of time to get it going we can easily do 10 maps maybe 15 maps i'll finish up around 3 p.m 3 a.m um and go to bed and then not not do it again until the following the following day at similar times um and that takes shit out of my schedule because i have to stay up that late just to be able to find the time with you guys and find time away from my um, family where I'm not really needed for anything. Like I sit down and kind of bang out a few hours of the path. Um, yeah. So I do rely heavily on you and me to kind of pull some of that clerical work. Because <laughs> there is a lot of clerical work when it comes to play. Um, do not be, yeah. do not be, you know, you need someone that can crunch numbers, that, that knows how to use Excel sheet. Like, uh, it's not necessary, I, well, but it helps. <laughs> I I list most of my shit pretty pretty well. I there are some things that like as we can play and accrue more, it gets harder to maintain maintain the price of things that you already you yeah. already have. Yeah. But is I feel broken? like it's, I think it is the rare got stuck. Oh, he got unstuck this time. Okay, cool. I guess we just had to move it from it. Or do we have to move from this little thing to let something spawn? Um, it's just the weird, there's the walls right here. I don't know, the portals are in here, so I'm hoping by staying in here. Are we gaining anything? Uh, no, I, I think it's broken. I need to move on. No, well, we're getting other types of spawns. Like, you see how like we're getting waves? What are we getting experience? Because I think that's the determines whether or not we get drops. Because we haven't gotten any drop. I'm getting flash drops. <laughs> that's true. I am too. Like, I'm assuming. Let's see. Let me stack it up a little bit. Alright. Alright, yeah. Let's, uh... Damn. That sucks. That's happen every now and then. Um, it happens more often than than, it, than, we, than I'd like it to. <laughs> the, I think some of the roles that are not typically discussed when it comes to party play is the the untangible roles, where it's like you need someone who is, is going to dedicate some time to role maps. You need some time who going to acquire are going to trade to get the um um the rolling shit like uh, the the currencies the uh scarabs the whatever the case may be. oh fuck i hit that thing um and i think mule serves as that person for us like he goes and gets all the stuff that he needs um to roll the maps it's kind of like a a, a a weed roller a blood roller yeah like he's that's i'll do that's the dude that does that for us. Um, you deal with the clerical stuff where, oh shit, oh shit, me. There's a spire here. Be careful. Oh wait, what are we doing? Yeah, the thing moved on, so he wants to move on. Uh, you really put him in the uh, Discord one day. Um, I can't remember what happened on because there could have swore there was a time in which we did. Oh, gotta go. Uh... So yeah, so you play the clerical, clerical. right? You sell you you once you picks up everything that's worth anything. Um, he puts it in a ghost stash, which I think you need a collective. I think that's necessary. You need a you, you don't need a f 
crazy stash tab, but you need at least a stash tab to start collectively, um, like putting all your loot. Yeah, putting your collective loot together, like saying, "Hey, okay, so this is how much we have. This is how much we made in the map. Um, you know, this is how much we need." But it, 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 oh my god! It, it helps visually on um, for for some people, especially me, to know like, "Oh, this is how much we have. This is how much. and then you start seeing that number a little more tangibly. But I th it, yeah, that's a little necessary. It's not required. But I think for the, I think what? Oh my god! You see the little green dots on the map? Yes. That's uh the. the I know I know what they are, but it's like that's a lot of them. Yeah. Um. The. It helps when it comes to building trust, and I think that's something that ha is not being said enough when it comes to this. You need to trust a motherfucker. Oh yeah, one hundred. Like if I didn't trust you. Like after running ten of these maps and getting over a hundred divs of drops for you to go out and sell honestly, be able to split it honestly, put it in the guild stash honestly, and, and say I'm gonna come. Oh, by the way, I didn't get my divs. What else? <laughs> I think I just realized that um, for the last, you know, our last uh, party play, it's gonna start creating ripples. That. Yeah. Eventually, just I'm not gonna. I feel like I'm being jipped off, and I feel like I'm not getting my fair share. Yeah, and I that, think I'm glad that I've I've I had the trust to do that. Like, it, it I thought about it. It's like, dude, I could have taken like half these items and then just fucking been a dick. But why would I do that? This is the fucking my friends. <laughs> like, but you'd be surprised, man. Like, it's that fear of missing out. It's like you feel like you you're gonna get. You know, more ma more money. Like I can, you know, if I if I skim an extra two divs off the, you know, off the top, I can, you know, get my build ready. Like, nah, but it's one of those things where, and having do doing that shit to people leads you to want to do that shit to people more. Like, nah, I, I, I it's just not worth it. I'd rather. There's wait. people who will charge. An extra finder's fee or like processing fee on top of where we got, and like just for me doing this, I'm gonna take another. If someone would be upfront about it, be like, Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take another theory to on top for my efforts. And sometimes that's a problem. If you have that agreement with people to do that, that's fine, but that gets a little squirrely. That just gets a little squirrely. You're charging, I feel like, for I feel like that's just greedy, yeah. A little bit. Because, like, think about it, right? We we find an item it's worth 20 div. Why would... Why would I want to jeopardize the next 20 or 40 or 50 or 60 right. div that we're going to make right. for one 7 div, 6.5 div extra profit? You know right. Like, it, it doesn't make any real sense. And I, I, I understand, like... Because I, I used to play WoW and having guild ninjas was a thing right. i never understood it you burn the, all of the goodwill you probably destroy the group That's not because decent. now nobody trusts each other is it yeah it's decent it's pretty decent we <gasps> want 36 Ooh. 14. <gasps> oh that's pretty good that is indeed he loves picking up <laughs> inventors because he i think oh. he corrupts them well, no, he, they're, uh, you three to one roll them. Three to one roll, what the hell is that? Uh, you get three venters and then you give them to a vendor and you get one back. Ah, oh, look at that. Learning. You, hear, you heard it on here. The learning. And not to mention it's important because I also use venters. That's what's, an, that's what's helping the magic find as well. Yes. So that's why they're worth. That's why they're worth so much. Luckily, I already got two of them that are good enough for me, so we could just sell that. Cool. Um, so make sure you find someone you trust, right? Just find someone you trust, and then pop the question. Hey, listen, you want to do party play? Pop the question. <laughs> it's a marriage, bro. It's a fucking marriage. Cause you are, you are agreeing. To make life decisions together now. 
And if you play Path for a thousand hours, two thousand hours, three thousand hours, these, these are fucking life decisions. Every league that you have to make. Like, who's taking the kids tonight? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you have to fucking. Like, I know, I know, Rosie sometimes feels like you know you guys are probably more my girlfriends than and you know my wife than she is because sometimes like why the fuck do I have to why do I have to choose? And it's just like it's not that you have to choose. It's just you know you know it's just. <laughs> I, have, I have things that you know need to be done just like and it's, it's kind of hard to explain to someone who doesn't play path what those things are and why they're important um so yeah so sometimes i'm just left there with like using hand signals I'm like it's just you know i gotta ugh. but um <laughs> but yeah it's it's a commitment and you, you have to sit there and like hey listen you know do a party play and just take it in stages. Don't just try to like, oh, let's just do end game shit. Because that puts a lot of pressure on your teamwork. And frustrations make start to kick in. Yeah. Like we had to start with just like mapping. Yeah. Because when you came back, we were doing what? Like tier 16 mapping together every now and again. And we tried to make. The, well, first uh, of all, motherfucker. I never left. <laughs> I was playing less. I was playing less. But I would play every league. But then you abandoned me like a month into the league. That's more than the average player. No. The average player after like a week or two stops. Yeah, but that's not how you get like the Giga Chat shit. Okay, and that's granted. About... I was never Giga Chat to begin with. No, but you wanted the Giga Chat stuff. I wanted the Giga Chat stuff two weeks in. Yeah, but that's... That's like, unreasonable, though. That, that's a little that's, unreasonable. I don't even think it's unreasonable. I think that's just like a different level of time commitment. That's yeah. That, that and that and 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 thank you for saying that because that's I think that's another part. Be realistic to your time commitment. If you're gonna be putting four hours a day to path, that's not enough. There's no way for you to re- reach that point. It's gonna there take really you much is. longer. To do it that. will. Like if you want to farm yourself a headhunter and you want to do that shit in week one. Yeah. Do be prepared to spend sixteen hours, at least, just a day, just at grinding. Least. And if you are one of those people like me, like you get bored of running the same map and you kind of want to change it up, mm-hmm. yeah, no, you're not gonna farm it. Yeah, you have to be able to like set aside the fact of, oh man, I hate selling, I hate doing this, I hate doing that. No, you just have to go for the things that's gonna make you the cash. And you're gonna go for it, and eventually you will have yourself a headhunter. You might have two. Yep. But understand that you're you have to. You pay may hate for yourself it. a little bit. After. Yeah. <laughs> you may you may not want to make the character that's gonna have to use the headhunter. Yep. You know words. you may burn yourself out. Those but me, I words. love. I love playing this game and just being like, dude, if I have something ridiculous by a month and a half in, I'm happy. Yeah, I want to be look, able look to at do the what. Problem. Hold on, I was gonna look at the date to make sure. We are officially way past the first the first month. We are now on week one of month two. Uh, so this Friday is gonna match the. It's gonna be that first week. So we are past that one week, uh, that one month mark of league launch. Awesome. Things around now starts to get a little faded. Um, by now, yeah. most of the new down. players kind of already left it was like yeah i can't do this no more um a lot of the d4 stuff already died down um so right now the players that are on right now are their core players of path and then like you think about it right if the average person isn't getting to maps right and you're sitting there and you're playing a game for a month and a half and you can't get past kitava i'd understand Look, I like, like I think that's a real consideration I mean, to think. I like, met them in person. I met these kind of people in person, and I can understand what it is. It's just, it's like the, the whole thing we would on on an early episode. We were talking about um our friend Alex and just kind of like not trying to seek guides or trying to like gain understanding from other players, but more like I'm just gonna figure this out on my own. And you keep just banging head against that wall. And, and you think about it, right? So if even if, like, say Alex wanted to figure out Timeless Jewels on his own, that literally means that he would have to go and do a Legion. Yeah. 
You have to do endless conflict. Yeah, and a lot of it. Because which is again, yeah, yeah, which is yeah, which again, how are you gonna do that by yourself? How are you gonna get access to that kind of content? Well, it's not hard. Obviously, you can just buy the materials and stuff like that. But to finish but to it, to know to do it, and then because mm -hmm. again, you know, to know to do it, to like, survive it. To, like it's, that shit is it's easy different. when it's in a five way, but to do it on your own, your character needs to survive an endless conflict. Not stupid hard, but definitely something that that you can't just do with like a thrown together piece of shit. At least to to get anything decent. Especially if you're having trouble doing T16 maps, which he was. Yeah, he was not. Yeah, he would get he would go in there, he would get a couple bosses because that's how the the time this domain worked, you know spawn spots is guaranteed and two of them would be there and then he'd be like what the fuck what am i supposed to do like they just killed me you just get murked yeah <laughs> randomly to be like why to be like well you see i still um, I, I, I hate out. i hate like we're talking so much shit about alex we, I, we love him so much he just he's really but he's he's not dying talking to my melee bill and he's like he has the same stats I do. I'm saying no. like, oh my god, I oh my god, I was so <laughs> I wanted to laugh at him so bad, <laughs> but I felt so bad. It's like I don't think that that works. I mean, yeah, on paper we might have the same. I was like, similar stats, there, I was like, there's no way. Ooh. And he goes, no, I have the I'm, same I'm damage reduction. Oh, I went too far. He was like, I had the same damage reduction that he does. And then he walked away from you and saw that he was benefiting from your determination. I don't remember. I don't remember that. That's literally what happened. It was hilarious. He goes, oh, okay, so maybe my defenses aren't the same. So I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, I, I guess I was in the, in the range of Zora. And he told me what it was, and it was just like 38% or some shit like that. And I was just like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. He had like only like eight or nine K on. <laughs> it's, just it's just the, like, it's, it's the obvious question of if you have the same stats that I have, then why you are you the only one dying? Yeah, you would not be dying if that were the case. It's just not how half works. Like, now it does. There is. Oh shit! Think about this. Gonna hurt. There are there are times in which. There are specific mechanisms to your build that will curl you. Let's say elemental reflect or physical reflect. Right. Stuff Those like will that. usually yeah. you're doing you are you yourself as a character are doing way too much to damage for you to survive a percentile of it. Right. Or and <laughs> like similar to the the trauma build. Oh. The trauma build is, you know, after 10, 12 stacks, 13 stacks, if you don't have more defenses and you don't have more health, you're going to murk yourself. Really easy with Bone, sh bone Shatter. And my my Bone Shatter build is at T16. It can do 15, 20... St 20 stacks is sketchy for me. But I can do 15 stacks comfortably. And even then, at high level tier bosses, my damage is so much more that my defenses can't keep up with my own damage. And I die. I die a lot. And I know why I died. It's like I'm killing myself. I know I know what that is. Um, but it's understanding that that aspect of my build, understanding that, that this is this is what's gonna kill me. This, I, this is I have to be careful about this. Um, yeah, which, you have to just, play around the limitations. Yeah, he was just not you know totally right, understanding that. The the other aspect of party play too that you need to understand too is that. Not everything you do is going to make money. And you shouldn't do it for the sake of making money. And, it, and we alluded to that a little bit of everything. Like, if you do it enough, if you do it consistent enough, yeah, you're going to get divs, you're going to get that stuff. But you don't start doing um, a content or a, a, a aspect of a game just for the sake of, oh, let's get money. Oh, shit. If you're watching the video of what we're doing, you can see what's dropping. Like, like mirrors are not dropping. Like, there's other things that are dropping, small little currencies, maybe a div, maybe a, or a, a card, but nothing crazy has dropped yet. And we may do two or three maps like this. Nothing significantly drops, so maybe one or two items decently drop that we can sell. 
but we're not doing party play for the sake of getting cash we're doing it because we just enjoy doing this aspect of the game and it's just a, an added benefit of the fact that we're getting cash as well so it's, it's the dopamine hit as well that we're doing i always feel like games are meant to be enjoyed with other people especially if there's a way of doing it and i understand that path makes it like more inconvenient than most games it does to, yeah. to be the party play and it kind of makes you have to look at things that you normally wouldn't have to consider. You know, like for instance, uh, the time I decided to play Ward Loop and you decided to fucking play an Aurobot. That was an awful decision. It was. From me, like, I'm, you know. Well, not, I... in a, not in a bad way, but it's more like we didn't conceptually understand the. How our builds worked. Yeah. <laughs> at least how my build worked. Yeah. I know that I knew. Like when I decided to do that, I didn't understand everything that made my build work and what would make my build not work. Wait, what was another time though that I made Oh, you were playing um Righteous Fire. Yes. I made Where... a Aurobot to support you and do party play, start beginning party play. And it didn't work out that time either. Yeah, because the the things oh, that shit, you... what's going on here? Nothing, nothing. No, it was just like it was back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I think we're just looking for this. Uh, so much stuff. Let's stop right here, real quick. I know he's gonna want to pick up. We're still moving. Right. I, I'm, I'm willing to come back for. I'm gonna turn on my um, loop filter for those of you watching. You know, I don't see anything, but I need to start paying attention to what's happening. Yeah. Actually, let me just turn on. I do love just loot explosions, though. In case a mirror drops in, we can catch it on recording. Oh, that would be so sick. <laughs> um, oh, oh, and my turn. Okay. Okay. She has no. Mew has no space? Mew has no space. What is okay. he picking up, Lord? Well, we did have a whole bunch of scarabs. There's all these, these synthesized quivers and bows. Like, I can think of a lot of stuff he's doing. Because, yeah, you gotta go back. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, all... But yeah, just, you know, I hate, to, I hate to people remind people of this because I feel like. I don't know, I feel like stupid, but it's a game. Like,. Don't forget that. That don't forget that path is a game. It's not a job. It's not. No, we play path because we want to get away from the bullshit. The usual although, bullshit. You, although you kind of have to be honest, the time investment into any one of our builds is actually on the level of some sort of insane. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to like lie to myself here, but <laughs> no, because again, you know, even for your, for you, you know, you at least more than your effort, there is me and I. And we did put a lot of brainstorming into your into your build. Oh yeah, like, like I had the base. The, I had the base. I had the base um, uh, framework of what I was going for, but then it got to a point where it's like it's not working. Um, it's not working well enough. It was working. It's just it wasn't working well enough for us to continue the the upward scale that we needed to go. Right. Because we needed you to continue doing damage. But we also need you to survive. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it was, and it get to a point where it was getting frustrating to the point where I felt responsible for not just losing currencies, but really not, um, not um, like delivering on, you know, on, on what we're trying to do. Because it's frustrating. You're, you're trying to. You, you, it's a goal. You're setting a goal. You're trying to complete the goal, and then you're trying to like get rewarded for said go um that's part of the fun and the challenge behind it but when you are when you feel you are the missing link or the weakest link and you just are going to that point where you don't know defiance what's that what do you mean by defiance am i, am I, am I missing something i don't know maybe I need to drop this. I don't have scrolls. I don't have scrolls either. Pick up the the quiver. 
I have no scrolls. Oh. <laughs> no scrolls. 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 He has no scrolls. Uh, um, but yeah. Um, so find someone you trust. Find someone you enjoy playing. Obviously. Um, a good conversation goes a long way. I think good. Um, um, like if you you genuinely enjoy playing with someone, I think that's a good candidate. Like one hundred. If, if you feel like a look, man. If for those of you who play with your loved ones, I wouldn't do party play with my wife. I just wouldn't. Because there's times where I play I play games with my wife that it turns it, it's there's times where it's very enjoyable, but there are times that we have to like hold her hand, and that becomes super frustrating because party play requires every party every party member to be up on game. At least doing their job. Yeah, it's it's a complicated dance, right? And then if if you don't have that, it could get a little dicey. It can get a little frustrating. It can get a little. Um, if it's just you and her, and you guys are like doing an R bot and you know whatever, then that's gonna work perfectly fine. You guys can make a lot of guap. Is that still word guap? Yeah. Um, but don't don't try to push it to the to the utmost because then you, first of all both of you guys are gonna have to invest a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah. Like it to oh. prepare maps even. How the fuck did you die? Uh there was a flame tornado I just ran into. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there's like <laughs> a time requirement that is present within party play on this sort of level yeah like the when i first you know considered party play i was thinking you know we 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 put a couple scarabs and, you know we do an atlas passive tree which is which it. is party play by your definition and i think it is. it is but i didn't think i'm not gonna lie i did not think me was gonna go this hard well it's 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 the same way i have like so it's the same way I have. I introduced you to the game, right? Okay, so I'll start with this. I'm trying to see how I can word this appropriately. There's levels to this fucking game. There are so many fucking levels to this game. When I introduced you to this game, I was never at the level that you've achieved, right? I was just at tier 60 maps. That's where I was. Every now and then I would down shaper. Am I supposed to go back in? What are we doing? Are you looting? No. Yeah, we're just looking. Okay. Um good because that allows me to talk um so t16 maps i introduced you to the game i'm saying to myself i'm telling you bro you're gonna love this game has a lot of depth to it blah, 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 blah. you start playing before you realize it one or two leaks pass you get to my level and then you keep playing and you pff, keep going and then as we keep talking you're like yo you know come along like i i'm i'm doing more shit and i'm saying to myself like but one more shit is there i i just want to kill pinnacle bosses like nah bro you gotta like that's all the shit. And I'm like, all right, let's go on. The, uh, let me go on a ride with you. And then I start getting into these other more complicated ways to play path. And that's party play and stuff like that. And then us doing it, we fumbled it, right? It just, it was not fucking working. And then here comes Miu saying, all right, you want to do party play? Cool. Yeah. Do you do this? You do that? Boop, boop, boop. Kind of like a quarterback. You know, yeah. we're going we're gonna to run this. We're going to use this. We're going to do this. And then before we realize that now we we went from our level of party play to that next level. And we're saying, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And something's going to happen along the way where we're going to sit there and be like, there's that next level. Either we're going to meet someone, talk to someone, or it's just we're going to realize it. Like, oh, we can we could fucking do this. We could do this shit. And... We're gonna, and then that's how you elevate yourself. To, and, and, and as long as you, your interest stays true to the game, and you, you know, you enjoy it, you spend. You, if you're spending five hours on a fucking game, you better be enjoying that bitch. Like, other than my day job, which this is the squirrely thing, I think that sometimes, 
scares me about being successful at streaming um what i just need to throw this out there what? right so please price check that carrion horn spine bow for the fractured bow attacks fired additional arrow <laughs> uh, i don't think i'm getting it right did you are you looking at the base item yeah yeah, yeah wait, 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 wait. it's my my period trade is not why am i getting five chaos for that that fractured mod for that fractured mod with three whites um, three whites let me see boop, boop. 10 chaos. With three Are whites. you looking at the right thing? I may not look at I may not I'm not good at these things. Okay. Well I'm using POE overlay though. Uh so you're not looking at pseudo, correct? You see how mm, let me use the other one, huh? I know right. Look at me. Advanced player, I use two overlays. <laughs> No, that'll work. That's not. Because uh, I'm using Awaken to see this one. I forgot. What's the what's the default for Awaken? I always forget. I have D. Alt D. Alt. No, that's. Mm. Is my Awaken even on? Oh, okay, that's what happens. My Awaken is not on. Okay. How much is it anyway? Here, I'll just send this to you. Uh, or I won't because, you know, I don't know how to find shit. So I wait till this loads up. Oh, oops. I just sent Hue. Hue. It's good enough for me. How much is it? Hue. Hue. <laughs> how much is it? Hue. No need to more anymore. Oh, I end up closing it. That's what it is. I'm not supposed to close that window. If we craft on that bow just a little bit. Okay, 25 yeah. devs. 35 devs. 120 devs. We just need to craft on it a little bit to make that work. Right, at, but at base, is uh, at least one div. At least a div? I guess a three white sockets fucking help, huh? They do. And the thing is, is from there, we need to... We need to flat out six, uh, six socket it, and then six link it. Well, we got a baby daddy. We got a sugar daddy to help us over that. Right, right. But we just need to six socket it. And then that will will lock into things. We'll just need the three hundred and fifty fusings. Well, the, you know, there's a six socket bench for craft. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna need the three fifty fusing sword, which is you know it's not much. Yeah, it's not. We'll, not we'll, we'll throw the three fifty fusings to get the to get all of them socketed, so we don't lose the white sockets. Because we don't want to like slap it with a jeweler, <laughs> and then end up going to like one socket. And then we're just we're we're, we're crying because it's now only a one white socket though, with fractured fucking plus one arrows. Uh, many last thoughts about party play and how to initiate it. How how much? Uh, how to divide up the roles to something that you don't mind doing because you're probably going to be doing a lot of it. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna bullshit. I spend after every day of our party party play to map shit out and to at least stay on five, six hours, you know, five, six hours out of the day to make sure that things are up for trade. Like, I, I spend a lot of time to, to, to do the, the minutia. And I don't mind doing it because I'm usually doing other shit at the same time. So it's not like I'm like, oh no, you need to appreciate it. Like, I don't mind. Like, when we get shit for the for all of us, we're it is excited when they get, when they get a sale, right? Like, fifty divs. What the fuck? Is that the first yeah. item that we got. <laughs> you got so I love with waiting. I love waiting for you guys to look at the the unsplit take. It's like because I don't really I I don't I'll take a, a photo of it or a, a 
a screen capture of it and just kind of mm-hmm. be like, you guys got to see whatever you can on this. It, I think it does put it into, I think for, and I'm saying it from Alex's point of view because he's like, it feels like he's the virgin now. And I think I'm a little, I'm a little desensitized at this point, but it does give you a fresh perspective of like, oh, what we achieved. Yeah. Like we achieved like 150 we divs making, sales. Yeah, we are making money. And it's sometimes really hard to capture that when you just see I mean, big ticket items is easy, right? Big ticket items right. is pretty easy. But some of the minute things, like for example, uh, vent, you know, vendors, like, mm-hmm. you know, like it, it doesn't feel you make a crazy amount of money you picking up three vendors. It doesn't feel it. It's just, you don't feel it. Um, picking up fractured uh, bases. Believe some of them, it or not, I love fractured bases. Some of them you know. Cool. Like, if you get a fucking bow, like, which you just got there, and you get that fractured mod, you're like, oh, pff, bro, I got money. This is money. Just gotta figure out how much. Just gotta figure out how much. You hit um, the big one, you hit the small one. I kind of, you know, the only thing that could have been better about that is, is if it was randomly elevated for the plus two. Mm. It's like, but I actually don't know how people get that, so... Yeah, it's just another area. Fucking, uh, yeah, double corrupting. Or I don't even think it's a corrupting. What is this big shit over there? Mm-hmm. It died. Hmm? No, I saw some big shit. Oh, it's juicy. Well, we do yeah, have. Uh, we do have coasters. Nah, it wasn't coasters. It was like this big worm shit. Oh, uh, giant uh, worm. This I guy don't... doesn't want to die. No, nah, he doesn't want to die, but he is. Did you? See? Just had to aim your, your, your little sticky thing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, okay. I saw that coming. I saw it I, happening. I don't know what happened. I just, I was it was a big about. fireball. It was a few. I was. I thought it was. I only saw one. I saw one I too, like, but it looked like it was more than one because I heard. Puff, puff, puff. I w- have been expecting to eat most of those. Lately. Exactly. That's exactly what I thought too. I'm like, that's not going to kill us. And I saw it coming. <laughs> and I'm like, that's definitely not going to kill us. And then, poof, dead. All of us. Same time. Oh, no. That was kind of brutal. Uh, Fuck. I'm never going to goddamn level. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at 97. I may reach 100 by then. By then. I might. I don't know. Who knows? I will definitely hit 100, if not for just being frustrated with the whole situation and buying five ways. <laughs> That's a lot of five ways, though. I don't give a fuck. I've done it. Like, Last time I paid for point. one, I, I was so sad. I got one level for my, which is, I think, decent at my level, but it was like, I paid that much for that? This is stupid. Yeah. Nah, because you think about it with, like, it's at least if you're running a not super tanky character like for me it's so worth it because i'm i I almost guaranteed don't get the leather the level otherwise you know what i mean yeah no i guess what you're saying it's like this character is such fucking paper the moment if me happens like way if you happen to stop fucking damaging shit for some reason or it's a very delicate balance yeah yeah like i have no clue what could can what could kill me and it happens multiple times every session every fire you're going too far i know i'm sorry i'm just trying to kill coasters though yeah i want to kill coasters too but you know uh, oh my god it's like three uh, mechanisms uh, right now i'm so i don't know which one to do abyss or coasters all of them yeah you said all of them (laughs) Uh, we're gonna miss out on things. Yeah. Up. I know. But if we kill him faster, fucking Kosas, you dig. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, quick, go, 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 go. I don't know where, where is it? Up here, north, north. I can't. We're, we're at least hitting stuff from there, so it's good, I think. Uh, 
Um, I will be honest. I did not think I would like playing that controller. Ah, you know this. This really does feel like introducing you to Purple War again. Like I was, like, I've been, I've just, been it's soundly, so nice. soundly saying, bro, it's, it it feels so bad, but like it's so much more comfortable. If you listen to this right now, if you've never tried Path on a controller. Look, I know, I know what you're saying. You're probably a hard, diehard mouse keyboard fan. Um, I am too. But if you just want to feel it, feel Path in a better way, which is why I'm very looking forward to the WSDA keys for Path 2. I'm like, okay, okay, that might be, that might be what's up. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, very quietly saying that to myself. Um, but Path on a controller, the controls are just complete haywire but somehow once you start they learning work. them they work and for a game of this complexity to have control support bro like it 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 it, it, it sometimes baffles me i'm like there's a control like con there's a combination of uh, buttons i need to press in order to do something like that like how long it took us to like turn off loot filter uh a bit it I took me forever. It took me leagues to figure that out. And then you came along, like five minutes. I guess Google did. Google the I right. Did, yeah, yeah, Googled you Google the right set of questions, and it's and it says like, down, down, up. <laughs> I mean that's not what it is, but it's kind of like gave you like a cheat right code. Right trigger. Around. It's right cr trigger and down in case anybody's wondering. Yeah. And it helps so much. It helps a lot when you're doing this kind of like juiced up map. You don't have to worry about fucking not seeing everything that's dropping. Um, but yeah, it's it's it feels moving your character. Uh, me was back there. Don't go forward. All right, somebody, he's back. Um, moving character. It's exceptionally good with builds that are more than one button. If you have a two to three button build controller might be right for you because you can well, i have to uh, like even though I'm a pathfinder i have to make sure my flask is still running what are you doing so, you do the, the piano on the, on the d-pad no i'm actually just using one there's only one that i hit and it's my left bumper and then i put the other one on right bumper and then my main attack skill is x and then my movement is uh why? Sorry, I'm thinking about it. I'm playing on an Xbox controller, and that's not how I grew up. So, <laughs> I, I grew up fucking playing on PlayStation controllers. So I was about to say triangle, and I was like, wait. Uh, yeah, fine. yeah. I don't think too hard about that. I really don't. I don't have loyalty to either one of them. So, I don't have loyalty. It's just what I grew up with. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, I imagine if you grew up in Britain. You're so used to the metric system to where even if it if the imperial system became more wild widely used, that's a funny. Still there's a funny story about that too. Uh, oh, that were he, no. Uh, Alex was like, he came out nowhere. He was like, "Man, I'm so impressed by you." He was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "You just been using meters a lot. Like, since when did you switch over to the metric system?" I'm sitting there like, "Motherfucker, what?" Like, I, do you take me as like this like? hillbilly uh american that doesn't know what the metric system is because I, I i was explaining to him what like oh it is, it's like about you know four meters away and he just had to stop and acknowledge that i was just like <sighs> god damn it and I, I know i play like a stupid character sometimes and i try to have fun with it but jesus christ i think that has worked against me sometimes they that, that bar is set so low for me <laughs> uh But yeah, I, I it's just one of those things where it's like you get used to something, and it's usually how you stay. Like I don't know. You, have you traded? You traded a controller? Huh? Have you traded with controllers? Yeah. It's 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 not the easiest thing, but it's not super difficult. I can't, I can't find you. <laughs> it's not super difficult. It's just kind of weird. It's definitely easier with a mouse controller. It's a mouse and keyboard. Definitely easier. 
We're getting so many enlightened cards. Maybe we get another one and another chance at a level six. Like most of the time when I log in, I log in with mouse and keyboard. I do my trades, I do my shopping, and then when we're ready to go, I just switch over to my controller. And then... Like oh. doing that campaign with a controller, oh, so much, so much better. I might, I might try that. I don't know what I'm gonna level when I go to that. The I'm one exception to this is, I would say, is that you need to know your build. It, it's yeah. not easy to like navigate the Atlas tree with your mouse, uh, with the your, your, the thing imaging. That makes sense. It's not like it's just a little finicky. Do we know if these 80% or 60%? What are these? Uh, these might be 60. I have no idea. Is that a spire? Okay. Can you tell me it's a spire? Oh no, it's not a spire. I'm trying really hard to keep these things alive. Uh, 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 uh. I do love doing this, even though it's just, just even though what? Pixel. I was just saying it's just fucking even though it's just pixel vomit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I, this is what endgame path unfortunately looks like. It's just a bunch of pixels everywhere. Like are you playing on like a high count still? Yeah. I don't ever turn much down. Like cause I I turn I can, like I think I play on like a thousand fucking that's why it was so crazy when I was high. That like I see sense. everything. Yeah. Like this just looks to me like it, like it just looks like a blur. And then it does look like a blur, yeah. And then recently, oh no, what was that? I don't know what that was, but it was dangerous. Dude, me almost fucking killed me by walking away too fast. Oh, oh there's shit, no more so. portal, so get out of there. All right. <sighs> but yeah, let's wrap this up. It's gonna get long to upload it. <laughs> fair, fair. Any uh, last words? Uh, enjoy your time playing the remainder of the league. For real. Do things that you find fun. Try a different mechanic. You know what I mean? Just just expand your game knowledge. If you want to make another character, fucking try something different. Fucking just really, really take seriously that this game has a lot to offer. Yep. And when just when you think you reached the pinnacle, no, 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 you have not. There is much higher content to do. It's just you ha you just don't know about it yet. And if you have done all the content, if you have reached the highest height, then congratulations. I guess I I don't know. Give Give me a mage blood. No. <laughs> yeah. Like help us out. I guess you know. Like help us get even higher. Shit, I'll help know, help a neighbor. Help help you know help. You help. know, actually, if anybody wants to volunteer for anything, I have some fossil spamming I need to do. No, <laughs> we're looking for interns. <laughs> we're looking for interns. <laughs> we're looking for Join the guild. Interns. The more the more favors you do for us, the higher you rank up in the guild. No, but <laughs> that's the dangerous servitude right there. We have look. We have literally. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. And I think of out, out those nine people, maybe five play consistently. Um, we have a very small guild. Um, we, we're not we the types. Yeah, we're not the type to like start inviting random people. Uh, well, not only that, but then that adds just a whole bunch of like bureaucracy that needs to happen. We yeah, need to start yeah. setting tabs for the different ranking members if we get bigger yeah because you know not everybody's as trustworthy as everybody else but yeah it's just i like it small it's like just i've been part of big things it's just like uh i just want to come in play get out you know i i may end up making this like one of those like if you if you patreon you can join our guild oh that'd be actually pretty cool we can make a guild that's scummy <laughs> No, nah, that's it's so one of those scummy. Things, like, I don't think so. If it were one of those things where it's just like that, kind of does feel pay to win, though. I don't think it is. Well, be if that's the case, then being in any guild is pay to win. That's true. 
I don't know. Like, that feels that feels that feels scummy. We could put it in a way where it's like you can gain access no, to our like, guild. Like no, no, if you no, want to like, be part of our guild, no. Well, yeah. No, well, I think like you just put it at like the very minimum. Like you put it at the dollar tier. I would never that's, be like, that's nah, still you feels know. gross. Nah, just be like, oh. if you guys want to support, you go ahead and throw some support and you get to go in the guild. I can't prove whether people fucking YouTube subscribed, but I can check if you donated. <laughs> I, there's there's going to be, uh, we could probably open it up to like the first 10 people. But let's just say in the near future, like if we get like 100,000 subscribers. We can't have a hundred thousand people in the guild, even if they, they no. all do support. Well, then you'd have to literally put it at like the fifty dollar tier. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you could tell this guy's a hustler. You could tell. <laughs> <laughs> you you I want mean, access to our shit? You want to know if I got a major blood before you want anybody personalized else? Personalized advice from the coffee? No, no, no. <laughs> A hundred dollars a month. Five hundred dollars, and I'll smoke a bowl with you. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, you know how much weed this guy consumes? He needs, he needs, fucking re ups. Okay, like, <laughs> I need to get this guy satellite, satellite internet. All right, we need to fucking. Oh fuck! <laughs> it, it does feel gross, but I, I, if any, if there's anyone crazy enough to do this kind of shit, it's probably Path players, right? You know, just seeing the hell. amount of money that Alex and you dump and took out the MTXs. I'm oh sitting, yeah, bro. I'm sitting there like another fucking, uh, another. I just another this hat out alone is like six hundred dollars or some shit. Five hundred or four forty or something <sighs> like that. But you know, the thing is, is because I've spent what I have, I'm gonna have access to the beta. So, uh, how much did you need to spend? Uh, on path so far, yeah, six twenty in a year. No, lifetime. I gotta check up. I, I might, I might be there. I gotta check. You need the for lifetime purchases. It needs to be five hundred for like a one time purchase. Like if you just wanted to like, purchase damn it, I need to to get it, fuck. You'd have to buy the four forty. All right, so we definitely, go, we definitely gonna do that. If path can do it, we could do it too. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to be greedy, but at the same time, look it. If you you could buy me a coffee, <laughs> you know what I mean. I wouldn't turn down a coffee from the sub. Buy coffee, some coffee. Buy that, coffee that'd be the five dollar tier. The five dollar. Yeah. How much is how much is the, the minimum amount of weed you need? Uh, it's twelve dollars and seventy five cents. Oh, technically, all right. So twenty dollars after taxes and uh inflation rate. Um, <laughs> inflation so rate. twenty dollars to buy you uh, buy you a bong hit. I don't know. We'll figure out the rest. We'll figure out the rest. lifetime purchases of shit. Um, I I know I really do want to do um start providing um added benefits to members. Um, as a matter of fact, I was also contemplating some other um. Uh, loot filter ideas. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have, I have three in the bank right now. Oh, I haven't, hell up, yeah. I haven't uploaded yet. Um, I'm probably gonna wait till a little bit after, like within this month, and upload them. Upload one. Um, I work on them on and off. Um, we should really end the episode, right? We've been recording this all the fucking We time. should, yeah. We've been rambling for yeah. too long. Sorry, everybody. Guys. Thank you so very much. If you want to press a button, press a button. If you don't want to press a button, don't press a button. We do love you. Cast anything else to say as nope, we buy. Nope, 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 nope. I'll keep talking. Oh, uh, have right, a good night. Bye.